Hello everyone. So today I'm going to share with you all the design of mathematics paper for class 7 term 2. So here you will see various elements. So the first element is weightage to learning objectives. This time you will see the learning objectives have been assigned various weightage. So the first one is knowledge and knowledge based questions will carry 20 marks. Then understanding based questions will carry 20 marks. Then application based questions will be of 18 marks. Analysis based questions will be of 12 marks. And the questions that requires skills will be of 10 marks. So you will see the total comes out to be 80, which is actually the total of the question paper. This is the maximum marks. Then moving on to the next one, weightage to form of questions. So there will be various types of questions. So we will be having five different types of questions in mathematics paper. First one is VSA, that is very short answer type questions. Then we will have case study types questions. Then we will have essay one type questions. That means short answer type one. Then we have short answer type two. Then we have LA, that means long answers question. So very short answer type questions will be 16 in number. And each question will be of one mark, so they will be of 16 marks in total. Case study type questions will be four in number. Each question will be of four marks, so it, they will be of 16 marks. Short answer type questions will be six in number. Each question will be of two marks, so they will be of total 12 marks. Short answer type two will be seven questions there. Each question will be of three marks, so total is 21. For long answer type questions, there will be three such questions. Each question carries five marks, so they will be of 15 marks. So now, if you will, total 16, 4, 6, 7 and 3, it gives you 36. That means you are going to have total 36 questions in the question paper. and the total of these marks is 80, which mean, means the maximum marks for the question paper is 80. Coming to the scheme of sections. So as we know, the paper is divided into different sections. This time we are having it divided into different parts, part A and part B. So part A further has two sections, which you can see here. In section one of part A, there will be 16 questions and each question is of one mark. So it will be of 16 marks. Section two has four questions and each question is of four marks. So it will be again in total of 16 marks. Part B will have six questions of two marks each. These are short answer type one. Then it will have seven questions of three marks each. They are short answer type two. And it will then have three questions of five marks each. They are long answer type questions. Now coming to the scheme of options. Yes, you will be given with internal choices. So in part A, the section one will have internal choice in five questions. That means out of the 16 questions of section one, you will be having internal choices in five questions. And in section two, which is of case study based questions, each case study will be having five case based subparts. And the student will have to attempt only any four parts out of the five parts. That means you are going to have one part as option in each case study based question. And in part B, the essay type one questions will be uh, having two choices, 
essay type 2 will be having two questions and choices and the long answer type questions will have one choice question that means out of three you will be having choice in any one now coming to the weightage given to difficulty levels yes there are going to be few difficult questions so this time difficult questions will carry 16 marks which is 20 percent of the total marks average questions will be of 48 marks which is 60 percent of the total marks and easy questions will be of 16 marks which is 20 percent of the total marks coming to the syllabus so chapter 4 exponents and powers is coming and its weightage is 6 marks chapter 6 algebraic expression is coming its weightage is 10 marks linear equations in one variable worksheet 2 will onwards will be taken in term 2 it will carry 8 marks triangles and its properties Worksheet 7 onwards will be taken in term 2. It will be of 4 marks. Congruent triangles will be of 11 marks. Construction of triangles, 7 marks. Perimeter and area will be taken. Worksheet 5 onwards, it will be of 8 marks. Data handling will be of 10 marks. Now coming to the repeated chapters from term 1. So chapter 2, operations on rational numbers is going to be repeated and it will be of 5 marks. Then linear equation worksheet 1 which was done in term 1 will also be repeated. It will be of 2 marks. Triangles and its properties worksheet 1 to 6 which were done in term 1 will be repeated and they will carry 7 marks. And chapter 11 perimeter and area worksheet 3 and 4 from term 1 will be taken again and they will carry 2 marks. So you can see here the total of these chapters weightages comes out to be 80, which is again the total of our question paper. Now coming to the blueprint. This will show you what kind of questions are going to be taken from which chapters. So chapter four, exponents and powers, which is of six marks, you will be having three one markers and one three markers, that is short answer type, two questions. And in from algebraic expression, you will be having one one marker, you'll be having one case study from there, and then you will be having one short answer type one question, and then you will be having one short answer type two question. Then linear equation in one variable from worksheet two onwards, you will be having one one marker. You will be having one case study based question. You will be having one short answer type two question. From triangles and its properties from worksheet seven onwards, you will be having one one marker question. And you will be having one short answer type two question. Moving further, from congruent triangle, you're going to have one one marker. You'll be having one short answer type one question. You'll be having one short answer type two question. And also you're going to have one long answer type question. From construction of triangle, you're going to have only one short answer type one question and one long answer type question. From perimeter and area worksheet 5 onwards, you're going to have one one marker question and one two marker question and one long answer type question, which is of five marks. And from data handling, you will be having three one markers. You will be having one case study from data handling. You will be having one three marker, which will give you a total of 10 marks from data handling. Coming to the repeated chapter, operations on rational number. From operations on rational numbers, you'll be having one one marker, you'll be having one case study, and this will give you a total of five marker questions from chapter number two. 
from linear equations in one variable worksheet 1 which is going to be repeated you will you are going to have it, have one two marker question that's it and from chapter triangles and its properties from worksheet 1 to 6 which are going to be repeated you are going to have two one markers one two mark question that means one question of two marks that is essay type 1 and one question of 3 marks that is essay type 2 which will be of total 7 marks moving further perimeter and area worksheet 1 to 4 which are repeated which is of 2 marks you will see two one marker questions so children here again the break up is here you are going to have what 16 questions of one marks that means 16 marks you will have four questions of four marks that means total of 16 marks then you will have six questions of two marks that means 12 marks and then then you will have seven questions of three marks that is 21 marks and you are going to have three questions of five marks that is 15 marks so this is the category of very short answer type questions as you can see it there this was the category very short answer type questions they are going to be of 16 marks then this case study type questions they are again of 16 marks you can see it here they are of 16 marks then short answer type 1 will be of 12 marks short answer type 2 will be of 21 marks and long answer type question will be of 15 marks so this break up has also been shared here in the scheme of sections so i hope children this video helps you to prepare for your mathematics exam of term 2 class 7 wisely prepare for your examination do your best all the best everyone thanks everyone